Friends, in this question, you are asked to find a very interesting thing. You are given an array which has property that it is monotonically increasing initially and then it is monotonically decreasing. Okay, so this is the property that the array has. So what happens is that A0, let A be the array of size n. So A0 is less than A1 is less than A1 is less than A2 until AK minus 1 is less than AK. This is the peak and then it again falls. AK is greater than AK plus 1. AK plus 1 is greater than AK plus 2 and all these are greater than AN minus 1. So it increases initially. So it is increasing, it comes to the peak and then it falls down. So you have to find the k, the index where it is the peak. So how will you do? Some, and again I ask you that when you are in the programming interview, so again, think aloud. Okay, so what happens now? So first what will you do if you are asked to do this again the question is again do efficiently you have to do efficiently but first I am thinking I have to start at least I have to solve the problem so is it very difficult to solve the problem I don't think so so we just apply a for loop if we apply a for loop and check for each i what we should check if a of i minus 1 is less than a of i and and a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 then I will say that return that i Okay, and this thing we will apply it in a for loop, isn't it? So I will just write it in a for loop and say so what will happen? I will say for i is equal to 0, I cannot do so it will start from i is equal to 1, i is less than can it go to n minus 1 no it can only go to n minus 2 and i plus plus i do and i will check for this and if i find this i return i else i return minus 1 saying that i don't find it and what is the order of this algorithm i am applying a for loop and it's going linearly through the array it is order of o of n algorithm it is fine perfectly fine it will give you a good result but it is time consuming so now i have found a method but then the interviewer will ask find a better solution okay so what can be a better solution you are thinking for some time might click to you okay can we use some kind of divide and conquer can we use divide and conquer can we have some property if something is given in the array you have to think that okay it is some kind of divide and conquer you can use like what is the best example of divide and conquer binary search okay so here also we are searching something it is not directly an element but it has some property the element which we are finding has some property okay so can we now apply binary search kind of thing divide and conquer algorithm this is the peak here I have to find this peak how can I do so again so let's see if I have like I write a number find k, 
okay so i think that okay and like binary search i will pass the array and i will say that okay like this pass int low int high now what i will say that okay till if low is less than high then only we should proceed otherwise it is already i have done the searching for whole array so what will i do now i will say that okay and when will i have found so the condition is if so i will find what mid is equal to low plus high by 2 and then if a of i minus 1 is less than a of i and a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 so if we have got this element i will say i have found the kth element the peak element and i will return i but else what else what can happen is else if i am in this part where all the elements are in the increasing order so if that is the case then what will i write if a of i minus 1 is less than a i and a i is less than a of i plus 1 then what we will do in that case what happens i am here and this is the ith element so i i don't have a peak i can discard this position now i can discard whole of this part till here why because i know till here it is monotonically increasing so where do i need to search here i have discarded i need to search till here this element might be there so this is inclusive because again this can be the peak so let's see why if this was element here this is i this is i plus 1 i minus 1 so here again a my i minus 1 is less than i a i and a i is less than i plus 1 but this doesn't mean that it is can not be the peak so i start from what happens i will say return and where will i search now find k and i will pass the array and now where should i search from mid plus 1 to high okay so this i will do and similarly if i am in the other region what should i do so if i am somewhere here and i find this is my i this is i plus 1 and this is i minus 1 So if I find that okay, if this is the case, a of i minus one is greater than a i, and a i is greater than a i plus one, so I should now search in this region. So else, if a of i plus one is greater than is less than a of i, and a of i is less than a of i minus one. so i will do return i will search in which space now find k a now i have to search in low till where so i have to search now till mid minus 1 so this is the code which is written here completely if low is less than high so i find the mid it is the first case i am going here i i plus 1 and i minus 1 so if a mid minus 1 is less than a mid and a mid is less than a mid plus 1 then what happens so this is the case so i return find k in this part okay but if what happens if the elements are somewhere here mid is here then a mid minus 1 is greater than a mid 
and a mid is greater than a mid plus 1 then I return find k a low till mid minus 1 till here I will make my search and if that is also not the case it means what that the array itself is not monotonic so this case is if you give a wrong input and otherwise if low is not less than high so the again the array has been searched completely and it doesn't find any such element so this is also a wrong condition okay so this is the way and just we try to see with this example so what happens here so initially mid is what so mid initially is so i find i call find k a 0 comma 15 so mid is equal to 15 by 2 which is 7 so i come here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i directly come to 19 and it will return me something like that okay this condition is satisfied it will return but let's say that if this was the peak and this was let's say not 18 but something like 25 okay and then it decreased so here till it increased and then decreased so what happened now i find mid is 19 and we are finding that the mid so this element now it forms that to the decreasing monotonically decreasing so where will i search now between all these elements so i search here and then what happens now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 elements are there so mid will be what low is 0 high is 6 so it will be third element so 3 is this one this is the middle element and now what we see that middle element is in the monotonically So it is in the monotonically increasing fashion, isn't it? So this way what happens now? So we will search it at this place between these places, okay? And somewhere we can find out this one will become true. So thanks a lot.